Hello children, Mrs D Love here and I'm going to read you a bedtime story and the story I've chosen for you is Sleep Little Pup and it's written by Joe Parry. I hope you all enjoy it. At the end of the day, as the sun starts to set and the moon makes its way to the sky, as the dark inky shadows stretch out like a cat, poor pup, he lets out a sigh. He tries counting sheep, he gives them all names until he can think of no more. He counts all the stars that light up the sky, but nothing will help the pup snow. He chases his tail and chews on a bone. He plays with the mice in the hole. He rolls like a hedgehog and howls at the moon, but poor pup cannot rest at all. The night shift begins for the beetles and bugs as they march from their beds by the log. The moths and the fireflies dance through the night and sing, go to sleep little dog. Hopelessly he tries to slip into sleep, to drift into magical dreams. He patrols with the fox through the whispering grass lit up by the moon's silver beams. He skips with the dragonflies down to the pond and tickles the fish with his toes. He floats on the lilies and leaps with the frogs and ripples the pond with his nose. As star stars paint their light all over the land, little pup looks up at their glow. As badger peeps out from a carpet of leaves, he whispers, to bed you must go. Nothing he tries brings sleep to his eyes. Nothing will make Pup yawn. So with a thud of paws, he plods across the floor and returns to his basket full on. As the clock strikes 11, Mummy returns to kiss and cuddle Pup up tight. With a special new blanket, she wraps up her Pup and quietly turns off the light. The magical blanket, so soft and so warm, is like the loveliest, fluffiest sheep. It covers the little pup in the happiest warmth and at last he falls fast asleep. Well children, I hope you enjoyed that story and I'd love to read you another one soon. I hope you're all happy and well and I hope that you're all staying safe. See you soon, bye!